Hello, uh, I am Prithi Chaudhary uh, from ARI and in our department of biodiversity and paleobiology, plants and atoms group, we work on molecular systematics of plants. The first question which should come to your mind that why the study of molecular systematics uh, of plants is important. Yes, they help us to discover new life forms, to trace the developmental changes for improvement of crops, to discover new drugs and drug sources, to identify emerging diseases and also for their conservation. Presently we are working on four genera in our lab, the molecular systematics of four genera called Ariocolon, Caparis, Ischemum and Smilax. You might have visited a place in Maharashtra called Class Plateau which is also a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site. It's a small area of 10 square kilometers but if you see they have it has got amazing number of angiosperms almost 150 uh, species are reported from this place and uh, you can see four endemic aerocolon species are found there and one of them called aerocolon e pedunculatum is only known from the cast plateau and nowhere else in the world similarly if you go to meghalaya on the way to cherapunji there is a place called dantalan you can find the Full, uh, the area is full of aerocolon species and you may also find people selli selling bou uh, bouquet made up of aerocolon species. In the world they are known by 400 species, in India we have more than 100 species of it and in western Ghats and eastern Himalaya they are represented uh, in 60-40 ratio. They have got also amazing bioprospecting bio potential. Many of the species are known to possess neuroprotective activities and also they are used as a remedy for headache, toothache, sinusitis and eye diseases. One of the species called Aerocolon bergerianum is used in a Chinese herbal formula which is used to treat headache and eye diseases. But if you want to identify these tiny species, really difficult job, you can see three different species on a herbarium sheet here and how difficult you can guess it could be to identify them. If you want to identify them, you have to check for the characters of involucral bracts, floral bracts, male flowers, female flowers, and also these tiny seeds. But this is not enough. You have to observe them under light microscope and scanning electron microscope. Not only this, you have to see the characters of the appendages which are found on the seed then only you can confirm the identity of the species. That's why we thought of working on this species which shows high intraspecific variability and combined with limited interspecific differences. Because of this, they are known as a taxonomist nightmare. J.D. Hooker, while writing Bri for a British India, also studied this group and he wrote they are the most difficult of classification presenting no good sectional characters. Through, through the uh, country we have surveyed, we have collected samples and we could identify more than 63 species of the genus. And very critically we have examined them uh, through, the, uh, through microscopy, scanning electron microscopy, we have done molecular studies on this and we are also trying to understand the phylogeny and character state reconstruction of the genus. During this time we have also discovered two new species and named them as Variocolon parvicephalum and Variocolon caravalens. Not only this, uh, we have done whole chloroplast genome sequencing of one of the species which helped us to understand evolution in the whole order called Poil uh, using this particular uh, species. And for this work, uh, uh, the student Dr. Ashwini Dodge-Sedkar uh, received the Young Scientist Award from Indian Association for Angiosperm Taxonomy in 2019. Another genus on uh, which we are working called Caparis and here uh, if you see this genus has again uh, uh, got a lot of medicinal value. One of the most important medicine called Leaf 52 is also um, uh, if you see the composition you can find that uh, a major ingredient of this uh, medicine is Caparis uh, spinosa and there are so many other species which has got similar potential. In India they are distributed like this in the peninsular India and northeastern corner of the country. 
but he have also found several research gaps like there was no molecular studies in the middle subcontinent nobody tried to study morphological evolution and ec uh, their ecological diversification and also the systematic relationship between different capitalist species were unknown so we uh, collected uh, the samples from all over the country and uh, during this period we could also publish a book on the genus called the genus capparis in india we are also trying to understand the biogeography of uh, uh, the genus using molecular and fossil data not only this we are trying to develop dna barcodes of a rare endemic and economically useful capparis species in india using both chloroplast uh, genome and also the uh, following the loci based approach which uses uh, some particular markers from uh, both uh, nuclear uh, nucleus and uh, chloroplast uh, organelles uh, we are also working on another genus uh, commonly known as morena grass in india in collaboration with dr data in in the last two years we have published uh, some new species of the genus and presently we are focusing on another medicinally important plant called ferrosparilla botanically known as smilax in india and we are also trying to develop super bar barcodes of these species trying to understand their diversification using phylogenetic tools with this i would like to conclude now and with uh, with my heartfelt thanks to uh, the director of ari who has been very supportive in our study and also my lab members uh, who always work hard uh, for achieving our objectives thank you so much